Hey guys, this is Eric Carpenter with the Carpenter Realty Group. I want to welcome you here today to my video blog. And today we're actually going to be talking about the topic of the home buying checklist that could keep you from buying the wrong home. But before we get into that checklist, I'd like to invite your attention to two call or action buttons below. If you're looking to buy a home or you're looking to sell a home, click the corresponding tab and you'll get information for sure. Okay, what are the home buying checklists that could keep you from buying the wrong home? What is that checklist? First one is, is the bedroom count and general floor plan workable? You may be tempted by a house because it's nicely staged, you feel good about it, you get the warm and fuzzies, but you gotta look beyond the furnishings and to see, is it what you need? Is the house what you need? Is there a place for your dogs to hang out? And if there's a place for your dog, well, where do the dog bowls go? Another thing that you may want to look at as you look at this checklist, is there a place for your kitchen garbage can? It may seem a little odd. It's a little thing that would drive you crazy. But is it enough to keep you out of the home that you want? Probably not. It's not a deal breaker. But I want you to look at all those little minor minutia things that we tend to overlook when we're buying a home. Another item I think on the checklist that could keep you from buying the wrong home is what direction does the house face? Facing west is great when it means you get to watch the sunset every day. But it's not so great if it means that your electric bill costs are gonna skyrocket and they're gonna be as high as your mortgage in May to September because your air condition is gonna be running 24 seven, especially here in Southern California. What's another item that you may wanna look at that you're overlooking? What are the where are the structural walls? You know a lot of people don't necessarily look at what the structural walls, uh, where they are, but if you're planning on an extensive renovation, a lot of times you have um, you're thinking about buying a home, you already have the foresight of what you're going to do as you expand. Well, you want to look at those structural walls. It may be a good idea to even bring a structural engineer with you to make sure that the walls that you want to remove are not load-bearing walls that will bring the house down. Another item that you want to look at on your checklist, if you're looking to buy the right home and you don't want to buy the wrong home, is there enough pantry space? A poor kitchen layout and one that is easily remedied by a renovation is a deal killer for many people. So make sure that you have enough space in the kitchen and enough pantry space. Here's another one. What shape is the floor in? What do you mean by what shape? Is it in good shape? Replacing floors can actually be a big and expensive undertaking. And you could ask for a carpet allowance, those kinds of things but I want you to plan on being able to do that yourself. So look at the floor, make sure that the floor is in good shape. Is there an HOA? This is important to know if you're looking to paint your home purple and display your collection of flamingos on the, on the lawn. So look at all those kinds of things and make sure that you do have an inspection of the floors, but I always encourage you regardless, get a home inspection. Another item on the checklist that could keep you from buying the wrong home, how are the schools? Good question, right? Even if you don't have kids and never plan to, a good school district is important to home values. In fact, a lot of home sales are driven based upon school systems. The better the school system, the better the values are of your home. Very important to pay attention to that, especially if it's gonna be rezoned. This happens quite often in growing areas. And while you won't always know what's going on or gonna happen in the future, impacted schools and districts and chatter about coming changes might give you a reason to pause. Well, here's the last tip I got for you to look at on that home buying checklist. What are the acoustics like? Now I know many of you probably aren't musicians, you could care less about acoustics, but if, if it's a ridiculous echo, it's coming from the upstairs bonus room, think about what's that gonna sound like when you have two kids playing upstairs. All these are little things that you may not have on your checklist, but does matter just as importantly as the big items. Thanks again for coming here with us and sharing. And remember, if you have any questions or topics that we haven't dealt with, I invite you to let me know and we'll definitely discuss them in the weeks ensuing. Thanks a lot. You make it a great one.